Namaste. Welcome to the last episode of Little Chaos Yogi Season 2. I cannot wait to watch the star studded episode 11 featuring an amazing 7 year old and a world renowned musician who all of us dream to meet someday. She plays the Saraswati Veena and her YouTube series called Cup O Carnatic spreads some fresh musical joy among millions of children and adults alike. Can you guess who? Yes. She is none other than the world-renowned Vidushi doctor Jayanti Kumareshji. Jayanti Ji's rich lineage of music can be traced back six generations, and her prodigious musical journey began at the age of three under her mother, Vidushi Lalaguri Atrachalakshmi. Then she left home to live with her guru, Vidushi Padmavati Ananta Gopalan, for 22 years and learned the intricate science and art of playing the veena. Her playing technique was further enhanced under the tutelage of Veena Virtuoso, Dr. S. Balachandan, recipient of many awards including the Sangeeta Churamani and the Kala Ratna, Jayanti Ji has performed in many international and national festivals. Her 45 Ragas is one of the first ever one artist, one instrument live concert non-stop for 124 minutes. A researcher, she holds a doctorate for her works on styles and playing techniques of the Saraswati Veena. Friends, interviewing the great artist today is an extremely talented, creative, and lucky seven-year-old Miss Uma Suravadupu of USA, who is very passionate about Carnatic music. This episode will remain in your hearts for a long time to come. I promise. Let's watch. Namaskaram. My name is Uma Suravarapu and I'm seven years old. I'm from Austin. My name is Jayanti and I won't tell you how old I am. <laughs> I'm from Austin, Texas. I go to Bear Creek Elementary School and I'm in second grade. Okay. Very nice. I learned, I learned Indian classical Carnatic vocal music from my mom. And see Modamudi stuck at Gurugar. Very nice. Hmm. I also learn Western violin and piano. Fantastic. Thank you, Shrota House and Madhumita Auntie, for giving me this opportunity to talk with Jayanti Akka. Thank you, Jayanti Akka, for spending the time to talk with me. I am really excited. I've watched a lot of your videos and I think you are really talented, creative, and you make music really fun. Thank you. Now that brings us to our first question. You're going to ask me a lot of questions now? Uh huh. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Mm hmm. What's your favorite piece of music that you keep singing? Every now and then. Um, my favorite, I mean, it, like whatever I sing before, it just comes in and pops into my mind and I keep singing, like humming it. You know? What's the latest? Um, the latest was, uh, actually, the Darbar Vardam. Oh, the Darbar Vardam. Very nice. You make music really fun, but do you also play when you're sad and upset? I do. I play when I'm sad. I play when I'm happy. I play when I'm excited. 
for everything i just pick up my veena and start playing like uh do you play veena like all the time like when you're bored and all like, any emotion yeah. so um when i'm bored i pick up passage that is very difficult to play and um i challenge myself and try and see if i can do it in that particular speed or in that particular fluency and then your mind gets diverted and then you're not bored anymore okay now you inspired me to learn music when did you start learning music and who inspired you um i come from a family uma where everybody was a musician we had and everybody was a violinist mainly we had big violins we had small violins we had brown violins we had red violins all color violins my grandfather mother uncles cousins everyone used to play the violin but there was just this one aunt who used to play the veena and my mother thought i should play the veena like her and when i was 3 she started me on this journey of veena later i went and stayed with this aunt who plays the veena and i um, stayed with her and learned from her so she is my inspiration so do you also like play like the uh violin do you like know how to play the violin also yeah. I can sing but I can't play the violin. Okay. What about you? Um I sing. I play the uh western violin and western piano. Western violin, western piano. Okay. Hmm. I heard that there was a dog at the start the ray. I was under the bashini, right? Okay. Were you actually able to start the ray and is there one to stop the ray? Well, um see all these musical ragas they have some powers if it is played in the right way. So have you heard of this composer called Muthu Swami Dikshita? Mhm. Mm so he composed a song in Amrita Vashini when there was drought in the village where he was li living and then the rains just poured but it doesn't mean that every time you play Amrita Vashini rain is going to come it it depends on a lot of things on the state of mind and how you play it and uh, to compensate this in the north indian music tansen um created a ragam to light the fire called deepak mm -hmm. deepak so we don't have a ragam to stop the rain uh, maybe if you play amrita vashni badly it will stop the rain i'm not sure but basically um amrita vashni definitely i have personally had a few experiences when you play and then it rained oh like were you surprised like how were you feeling after that i was feeling excited i was thinking was it just a coincidence was it just a cloudy day and i played and it rained or did it actually rain you never know so how is the veena different from the guitar and the sitar because they all have strings and steps so they should sound the same you are seeing how it is different uh, can you see all the veenas behind uh huh does it look like a guitar no see there is this huge resonator there are two resonators there's a fret board with 24 uh, i mean 24 frets and then you know there's something interesting you can do with a veena like <laughs> you can't do this with a guitar we actually pull that is the thing 
and then um, we have fixed frets like on the wax on the veena and there are four main strings three strings on the side on the veena veena is like the national instrument of india so Since when do you play the veena? Do you play any other instruments too, other than veena? No, I've been playing this from when I've been when I was three. The only thing uh, I do other than playing veena is I sing. Oh, is veena like heavy or something? It is a bit heavy, Karma. It is a bit heavy. Is it harder to play an instrument or to sing? Hmm. That's like comparing apples and oranges. So it's a completely different thing. See, basically, the voice is also an instrument with the vocal cords and everything. It's an instrument created by God. So you use it. Some days it works. Some days it doesn't work. Similarly, in the instrument also, it is like that. You can't compare singing and playing an instrument. You can sing and play an instrument, or you can play an instrument and sing. So. Uh, the beauty of playing an instrument is um, in india we believe that the nerve endings of our hands are very powerful which is why when we chant we do this or you see a rishi is doing this or this because you activate the end of the nerves so when you play an instrument like i press the tip of these uh, fingers and then it increases my concentration so if you see kids who play an instrument definitely do better in academics than kids um, who don't play an instrument so how do i explain zaga to my friends because in school, when let's say I sing and I say this is Mohana, this is Hamsat Vanyu, this is Hindola, right? They come and ask, what even is a raga? Mm. So, you should ask them if they understand colors. Mm -hmm. The word raga means color. Okay? So, how do you teach them which is green? which is blue, which is red. I show them a bunch of colors and I point and say green, blue, red. Right. Similarly, a combination of notes, uh, let us say, this combination is a combination of notes in a particular pitch, which is called Mohana. If I change one color, let us say I use a little bit blue, I use a little bit green, I use a little bit white and it is a painting that has these three colors. So this is a painting that has five colors that is called Sarigapada Sa. Five colors, it combines and forms this beautiful painting called Mohana. Now if I put a little bit of black or gray on it and say becomes a little sad so uh, you explain to them that a raga is a mood and that mood is created with a set of notes in a particular order which creates an effect it creates an effect like when you see a painting you say oh this is a happy painting or this is a sad painting this is a landscape this is a portrait how do you say all of that by what the colors and the painter does, right? Similarly, a combination of notes in a certain order creates a raga. Oh. You know what we are going to do? Do you know a story? Mm, yeah. What story do you know? I know Ramayana. In Ramayana, do you know a small story that has about a very small part of it? Maybe when Rama gets married? 
Okay. Can you recite it in a short way? So Rama goes to where Sita is getting married and then he breaks the bow. Wait, and then... wait. You have to tell one sentence and I will play uh, the emotion for that. Okay. You wanted me to play. So I'll play um, musically the story when, as you chant. So he's walking and then he touches Ahalya while he's walking to Sita's place. <laughs> Then he reaches there and then he sees everyone trying to lift the bow, but they can't. Nobody's able to lift it. And yeah. then Rama um, gets a praise to his uh, guru in Let's the bow. And he lifts it. Then? And then he breaks the bow with, while he tries to string it. And he both breaks it. He's already broken it. Then? And then? Sita comes and then they get married. Sita comes. And they are married. Mm -hmm. That was so beautiful, Uma. You're such a beautiful storyteller. Do you still practice Veena every single day? Yes, yes. Even before now I was practicing until one hour ago. If yes, then for how long and what do you practice? You're like already so good at Veena. No. You know the way it is, um, unless you practice it every single day, the Veena looks at you and next time you come back to it, it says, you haven't been practicing me so it won't be you know in the best of uh, communicative mode it will not be as good as it is when I keep practicing it's like um, imagine a sportsman he has to run right so he practices every day if you don't your bones become stiff your muscles become stiff your shoulder starts aching so you have to keep in form so you know my fingers like this can you see this Mm -hmm. This is called uh, calluses or tracks. So I have to keep running in a like that. Keep playing, and uh, then the hand is in form. I'm best when I have a veena in my lap. Do you only play Carnatic on veena, or do you play anything else like Western music? <laughs> What is this? You know this song? I've heard it, but I don't think I know what it is. You see Harry Potter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little. So I play everything, Kana, but mainly I play Karnatic. I play Indian music. And um, I collaborate with musicians from all over the world who play different genres. So, like, do you like playing that at concerts and stuff like that? Like some Western music? Have you ever done that? Yeah, I've collaborated. But um, I try and find a bridge where I can express this and learn something. Every time I collaborate with a Western musician, I try to learn something which I can add on my instrument, like for instance, I do like These, uh, you know, 
the chords and the other things I listen to, different things I try to adapt it into what I play. Okay, now to end our session, I'd like to play the game Rapid Fire. Okay. So here's how you play. I'm going to be counting five seconds, and I'm going to say something. You have to say whatever comes to your mind first, with under the five seconds. Oh my god, you're scaring me. Okay, are you ready? Wait, do I get to do this to you? Uh, if you want, yeah. Okay. 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 Ready, set, go. Favorite daka? Nata Kurunji. Favorite color? Pink. Favorite food? Anna Saru. Rice, rasam rice. Favorite song? Oh, that's very difficult. That's very difficult. Okay, I can give you more time on this. Uh, favorite song? Okay, my favorite things. Okay, favorite instrument. No prizes for guessing. <laughs> favorite pet. Favorite pet. Mm. Interesting. I don't know actually. I, I've never had a pet in my life. No, like, what would you want to get? Would you want a cat, a dog, a hamster? Yeah, maybe a dog. dog. Maybe a dog. Favorite ragam? Favorite ragam? Mohana. Favorite color? Favorite color is purple. Mm, you're wearing it. Favorite food? Um, Bapu. Favorite song? Favorite song, uh, Bandams. Favorite pet? Favorite pet, um, hamster. Favorite instrument? Favorite instrument, Veena. How come you're not learning the Veena then? Oh, we don't have a Veena at home, but I've always wanted to learn one. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. I think I asked you all the questions that you asked me. Yeah. Hmm. So, your questions are over? No. You have more? They're over. Oh, they are over. It was such yeah. a pleasure speaking with you, Uma. And I look forward to meeting you and your purple dress looks really nice. And... Did you design the question yourself or did somebody help you? Um, I did it by myself. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. I really enjoyed it. And I really hope I can see you in person one day again. Me too. Me too. Thank you. All the best to you and I hope you learn music and learn Veena someday. And I want to thank uh, Madhumita auntie for making this happen. Right? And I made a new friend today. <laughs> thank you. Friends, wasn't this the best chat ever? Uma was so spontaneous and brilliant in the way she posed her questions. And Jayanthi's responses were simple and beautiful. Her music simply blew my mind. We are blessed to be able to witness such warmth and spontaneity between a child and a musical star and truly wish this conversation just continued. Stay tuned for Little Curiosity Season 2 finale coming up next. Do like, share, follow, and subscribe to your favorite Troll the House YouTube channel. And when you only begin to wonder how novel this platform can get, Troll the House shall only bring to you more and better. I'm off to listen to Jane Theegee's Vina performances. Can't wait. It was wonderful to be with you in this amazing season of Little Kyle series. Hope you enjoyed each and every episode as much as I did. I look forward to seeing you again very soon at Show the House. This is your host, Nigda, signing off. Bye and take care.